How you guys doing again? It's your stand base from Teacher Asai. So here today bring you guys another design video. This one is my only competition is me. Alright, so right now I'm just playing around with the text. I went on defont.com, picked my two text, uh, my text options, and I'm just gonna sit here and play around with it, see what I did. Right there, I just released the compound path which filled the text in, but it, it didn't fill it in quite the way I wanted it to. Around the edges there, you know, you can still see the rough part, so I'll, later on, I'll end up coming back to this and playing with it, uh, just leaving it bold. So right now, I'm typing up the script font that I liked, um, and now I'm going to put it in the center. I just drew a box. I'm just going to put it in the center. What, I'm, what you guys are going to end up seeing is that I like kind of with the M, the little sweep from the M hanging off the side. Uh, so I'll end up moving it to the side. I want the right side to stretch to the end there. Uh, but later on, after this video is over, I actually moved the uh, eye in. So right now I'm trimming the edges, and I'm going to actually split the text so I can move it up so I can have a little bit of the E visible on top and on the bottom. So right now I'm going back to the original text because I don't like the edges that it left me. So I'm going to go ahead with the grunge look. So I'm going to size that and put it on here, create some new layers and different things like that. And I'm going to, you know, work with the new text. So I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to draw a line. And then I'm going to divide the text with that line. I'm going to do it again. I had actually messed up there. So I'm going to now move this side up. Move that side down. And look at it in black and white again. Alright, so here's where I'm going to stretch the, the tip off of the side. Kind of like that look. And now I'm going to actually go ahead and put everything on the same layer and resize the design. I'm going to play it a little bit more. And now I'm going to actually uh, go ahead and remove the background so that when I put it on the actual mock-up that I'm about to do now, it will look clear. So I'll remove the white images from around it, the uh, inside text. So I'm just saving it out, you know, keeping good files saved. Uh, as far as structure goes, it's a good thing so you can find your stuff easily. For me, I just always open up a mock-up that I always, I, like I recently had open, and then I just delete whatever was there. So this is a mock-up I did previously, so I'm just going to save this one over again. Uh, and go ahead and uh, drop my text on here. And I'm going to size it down and make it look realistic. Put it in there. I'm going to change the color like this little red crimson color right here for this design. Uh, so some pain and some struggle in the color, almost like a blood color. So, all right, guys, this is it. This has been Stan Banks with T-shirt style. So, bring you guys the design video. Hope you enjoyed it.